på Pink You Can. In chess, the small one can become the big one. It's the same here. And here too. Watch every move. Record every number so you can plan better. No matter the size of your dream, Tomorrow's success belongs to those who keep today's records clean. File your returns today. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together. A good morning, our viewers. Uh, it has been a wonderful morning, I believe, for all of us. And uh, today, we are going to have a very, very interesting topic to talk about. Uh, in the studios here, we have teachers, uh, we have educators. Likewise, we have our tax guru, who is also going to be part of us. Uh, today is so special in that uh, we are going to open up on several things in regards to the education sector, uh, the education system, uh, the taxation of the education system, all that. And I believe teachers are going to be the happiest people at this moment in time. Uh, I'm Jotham Seranga, uh, here to moderate this webinar. And uh, I'm joined by my guests, uh, which is so amazing because I've taken long without meeting some teachers. And today it's so special that I have teachers with us here. Uh, please don't forget that uh, you can push in the questions as much as you want because we shall be answering all those questions. And uh, don't also fear to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel of URA because that's where most of these videos are usually posted. Uh, first off, I want to say you're most welcome, Hafsa. Thank you. Glad to have you back. <laughs> As usual, definitely. This is a calling. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, next to me here, I have uh, Mr. Mugwanya Charles. Christopher. Nice to have you here. Christopher. Christopher. Yes, please. <coughs> you had Christopher. Welcome. Viewers, mm. you're welcome. And I'm happy for the opportunity given to me to be here. Okay. And uh, another hajat in the building. Uh, Hajat Ndifuna. Zauja. 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 I have passed the test. That is ah, a short nice. name, but very <laughs> difficult uh, to pronounce <laughs> by most people. I'm Hajat Zauja Ndifuna, mm. uh, director of Mbogo Schools. Wow. And I'm glad to be here to share with the gurus of taxation in this country. Oh, you're Good most morning, welcome. our viewers. <laughs> Yeah, you're most welcome. Uh, feel free to send through the questions. Now, today, it's going to be so special in that I want to give you an experience or you're going to have to experience what taxation in regards to the education sector is. First off, Hafsa, uh, I would like you to enlighten us on how tax, how education, how the education system is usually taxed, or uh, what is usually considered when we are taxing, an, uh, let's say, a school. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, education sector. Yes, it could seem a little complicated because um, I run a financial year, July to June, and the school will run a calendar year, Jan to December, because of uh, the terms. But ideally, we can apportion and see when the term begins, which income have you gotten. So when we come to schools, uh, to take you back, I think it was in uh, 2008, uh, schools were given an amnesty for five years up to about 2013. reason that happened then, the education sector was down. So it was meant to promote those who are investing in the education sector. So that's the amnesty they got way back. 
But after the amnesty, we wanted to bring them back on board eh? to look, yes, yes you've, had, you've gotten a breather, but uh, you need to come back. Because ideally, you, you get income. Mm. This is not a service that we get for free. And in the event that you get income, and uh, my income tax tells me to look for you if you get income, provided that income is not exempted, it's not anywhere in my section 21 of the Income Tax Act. That's when I come. And basically when I'm looking at education sectors, institutions, I'm looking at those that are privately owned. Because you will know those that are governmentally owned. I mean, there's no income tax I get from there. Absolutely, I, I look at uh, things like uh, pairs you earn. For the teachers that um, are off the government payroll, mm. that's where I come in with the pairs you earn. Because those are who are on the payroll, They've already suffered whatever deductions they are by the time the salary is posted. Mm. So basically, I look at uh, the withholding taxes that spares you earn and withholding tax uh, from the suppliers. But when I come to the private sector, mm. that's where they are. That's where they put most of their time, their energy. So I come into one, look at their compliance journey. How does it start? It starts with registration. Definitely, you will fulfill your registration uh, with uh, the line ministry and all that. But when it comes to URA, that is when we talk about giving you a teen. And uh, most of our schools are limited, and therefore we give the school a teen, plus the directors who are who follow through. In that, this director one could be treated as an employer and gets a salary. Therefore, in pay as you earn, we should see them. Some wait for dividends at the end of the year. When they share dividends, that's when we expect to see it in their individual returns. So it start, the journey starts with registration. Register so that we can know you. Which school is it? Who are the directors behind? Is it a nursery school? Is it a <coughs> primary school? Pre-primary? Is it a secondary? Is it a tertiary institution? That's where we come from to best understand you and what you do. So the journey starts. We have started our school. Ideally, we are looking for income. And uh, we have different income sources for these schools. But the major is school fees, which we all know. That is paid through probably a bank slip. And, but we could have other sources of income that could come in. We could be probably hiring the sports ground. We hire our bus out. Uh, we are basically looking at uh, other sources of income. We all expect you to put them in one pool to be represented under your gross sales in a year. But still, they are expenses that come through. Because this is not a trading entity, but however, they do business. They rely more on suppliers who supply them. Because once we put our children there, they need to sleep, they need to eat, they need all that with the education, coupled with the education. And what happens? They have suppliers. That is when the withholding tax comes in. Who is this supplier supplying you? And what is the supplier supplying you? Does it qualify for you to withhold? What is the value in this transaction? That is when I come in. And on top of income tax, I will include, or on top of income tax and pay as you earn, I will include withholding tax. And by the way, pay as you earn is not paid by the school. The school <coughs> is an agent for us to help us that school, look here, you have your teachers, you know them better, you know what you're paying them. Once you're paying them above 235, then the pay as you earn comes in. That is where my taxing point starts. So help me, before you pay them that salary on a monthly basis, deduct what would have been the pay as you earn and pass it on to us. So the school is an agent. So we took what it happened to see that we can get the pay as you are. Mm. In the same breath, he does it for withholding tax. Because ideally, these suppliers would have just gone because I can't know who supplies you, this, that, that, stationery, and all that that happens in a school. But ideally, they'll help us. They normally help us do that job. I would like to thank them because I as half I can't know who supplies Bogo, who supplies the other one who supplies. Eh? But once we designate them, eh, that is where we expect them to start the whole story, to see that me, you, and the other person, we contribute to taxes. 
why should this supplier go free and pay the 100%, yet you pay your pay as you earn. They pay their income tax. Ideally, no, no supplier. Because Mark, you, the supplier doesn't only supply you. He supplies a string of schools mm -hmm. and maybe other entities. So that's when we want at that particular time so that we can get that 6% and uh, wait for them at the end of the year. When the return comes through, the credit is busy waiting for them here. So when I'm looking at schools, that is where I expect them, the, fat, the, the, the path, that is the path I expect. It starts with registration, then others follow through, keeping records, giving me that return when it is due. Because once the return comes late, it may pick penalty. <laughs> and that penalty is, is pinching. Is pinching, it's coming from their profits. And if there are no profits, it may even come from the capital. So that is where I come in and remind you kindly, send me what is happening. Most especially in COVID, some schools just sat and kept quiet. They made an assumption that we know but the law wasn't tilted. The law remained, Despite kindly send me that return. I don't mind whether it's not a payment return, but draw a picture for me to know what is happening. Yes, we are all at home, but you might have expenses. Even though children are not there, the schools have expenses. Yeah, utilities. True, exactly, there are utilities. Mm -hmm. And the more the children are not there, the more you will need even security. Mm -hmm. They've left their luggage there and all that because COVID just came up came and we were sudden. all shocked. Yeah. So you had to keep the mattresses, the, all those items for the kids. Eh? That means you had to beef up on your security. That means the, the gate man couldn't go anywhere. They had to remain there on your payroll. A few administrative staff had to be there. Probably you are giving him something small, not really the whole salary, but at least it's something. So that is the picture I wanted this school to put in the return. But some didn't, and a painfully penalties came out. Now, Hajati, yes. uh, director, you have heard. Yes, I have. And, uh, Very clearly and well. She has really covered, uh, uh, she has really shown you mm. how things are happening on your side. Uh, thank you, Jotham and Hajat. And uh, this is a great opportunity. Um, education in this country is a very big sector, and private institutions mm. at that. Because at each level, we are above 50%. And there are some levels where we are 100% private education providers. Yeah. So what does this mean? It is a category. First of all, education is very important in this country, and it's the reason why me and you and Hajat are here, and True. our children and grandchildren. Exactly. True. So <coughs> we need to be supported. We need to be understood, because we are making a great contribution for what government is not able to do. Now, Hafsa here and you and everyone are happy because we have put together people, institutions that are organized, and you simply walk in and say, give us tax. That's a great thing that we are doing. Otherwise, Jotham, you are still a young gentleman, you, uh, but Hajat is aware how government was facing challenges in collecting graduated tax. But today, you are now sitting in your chairs and you say, Mbogo, this tin number, bring your money. Bringing this system to that level, it's a contribution of the mm. private sectors. Yeah. And at this point, this is where we say, one, Hajat, we are grateful for this interaction, for this platform, and it should continue. Because we need to be in this country. We need to continue in service. I want to share with Hajat here that he, she is looking at only what she demands. But I want to interest her into understanding the other taxes that do not necessarily come to you, but are going to local government, that we are supposed to pay. That is all a burden in addition to what we have from URA. So she's talking about income tax, pay as you earn, and saying it's not uh, the private schools, but because of the other reason that we have organized communities where you can simply walk in. Graduated tax, I you recall. 
Abantu baba sanga kumoto kamu makubo bata ambula baba kuata. But now schools have put these people together. And you can come and say, to, 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 pay as you earn. You're not cooperating, you're not compliant, they're going to give you a penalty. I think we need to change the, the approach and appreciate that contribution. But importantly, we are agents. And this is where I want to mention before I forget that because they see these are communities that are organized, they are rolling <coughs> over the responsibility of the tax man onto education institutions. That because I'm organized and I'm getting suppliers, you then again come and say, please withhold for all these suppliers. I think you are forgetting that I have a prime job of educating, of looking after the education institutions, and you're giving me your responsibilities. If the suppliers have team numbers, Hajat, why are we not devising means of making sure that they pay taxes instead of saying, now I'm going to find you with the schools where you are supplying, and then you, I'll tell the school to withhold the tax for me and then remit it. But she comes, I'm saying she, I'm talking about you, Arafi. <laughs> <laughs> with very strong, and if you don't comply, it's going to be a problem. You're going to feel the pinch. Now, with withholding tax, Hajat, no sooner had we gotten the calls, you have been appointed, the mail comes mm. after two days, mm. uh, with effect from 1st August. You've been appointed withholding tax. Now you say, me, I'm a teacher of history, mm. Arabic and chemistry. What is this thing the tax man, Hajat, here <laughs> is telling me to do? Then by 30th, the next, by, by 30th, 15th, next month, you are getting mails. You have not submitted, mm. it will attract this, mm. and so on. Then you say, oh, this person who, what is that that is not moving in Uganda? That is really quick. quick. That is really quick, quick. That someone appoints me on first of the, the month and by 30th, I'm already a defaulter. Without, I think it's our response. It's our right to learn what you want us to do. And I, I was very happy when I listened to the PS, Minister of Finance, one time on TV. She was saying, oh, you know why people are complaining? It's because now they've understood what they are supposed to do. But we were not given that opportunity. Pay as you earn, we have moved the journey. Hajat here is aware that we are now even taking on the tax education to the people we are employing. Yeah, teacher has been I'm so telling much. you, Jatham, someone comes. This 235, with life and cost of living in Uganda, is not a lot of money that Hajat here should be proud of. Someone is earning 250. <coughs> you know the cost of living. Less than $100 in a month, and you come, I'm the tax man, the law is there, it is telling you, A, B, C, D, above 230, and I threshold in a katono, I have a threshold in a katono, I have a threshold in a katono, I have a threshold in a katono, I Awo, haja tinjaga la ntuwa lile problemu ya angeyo. Threshold ene chari untono. Umutu hata aninga wa de dola chikumi. Uganti ntekwa, ntekwa, ntekwa kumisasula. Na ingo kela kumachana uganti farishi di rolo mpumenti mujemba we sente. E, 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 umutu hata inana plani. Na ya bantu vanuwa ina family. Abantu vanuwa ina habana. Abantu vanuwa sasua masanyaraze. Abantu vanuwa gula sabuni. E, Ngabwe tumugula. Na heno ugamba anti. I want to say at this point, Hajat, if there's any way you can advise for people to improve the way they live in this country, we really need a better threshold. Get them cut out. Less than three dollars. Omuntu zafuno mwezi. Mwezi mtuwa la vili mwetana. Na yo gambani, atekwa, atekwa. Ire someru has to pay. They pay as you earn. They are paying. But someone gets a slip and comes to the office, Hajat, and says, Hajat, how come they, I don't find any money? On, because children, rent, do, 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 do. it's a problem. Now, withholding tax, something that has come on board. We have got challenges so far for those who want to comply. First of all, we complain. Why couldn't you understand our financial year? We run from Jan. Hajat has mentioned it here. Christopher. Mm. She's aware. Jan too, but you, you, you couldn't give us those four months? 
to get to December and the next year so that you use the four months to keep educating us. Okay. We needed that time. Okay. But we pay tax without education. <laughs> and then we feel the pinch. And then the law catches us up. And then the problem is we have organized the people and you are now coming to say, over you, over you, over you. But, uh, uh, Hajaj, I want to interest you again in understanding the other taxes that we pay. You're talking about payers you earn, directors, yeah, dividends, ETC. But I want to interest her and maybe give her some of these Trading license. Trading license. NSSF, we yeah. as directors, we have a tax by now. And ours is even big. The, the employees are Two paying percent. five. Mm. For us, we have to remit 10%. I look at it as a tax <laughs> as well. Yeah, for us. Like the license. Ad advertising, putting a poster there and you say, oh, children, come to my school. Pay school fees. Then you are, it comes and say, we want money. I pay for that post. Income tax, withholding tax, property rates, ground rates, school maintenance, and we are giving a service. Ladies and gentlemen, and our viewers, you must agree, we need education in this country. So if the intention is to understand, to educate us, the, the taxpayers, to understand our working conditions and environment, we kindly request you to revisit. And we dialogue. And we have, and I'm very happy, Haja, that you have now started on what you pledged when we came for our last meeting. Because if you keep closed, if you keep your ears and eyes closed about our, in, if you don't understand your business partner, then you are not a partner, really. So calm down. Let us appreciate what we are working through. You hardly even gave us a, a recovery period. Haja, you have mentioned here that we went through COVID. If there is any institution that was hurt, hit so much by COVID, mm -hmm. it was the education sector. And the tourism sector. And the tourism sector, yeah. okay? But for us, we went two years. Now, hardly, hardly were we given chance to recover. The way you did, His Excellency Muzei, Jajawaba Zukuru, 2007, but no sooner had we come back. Mm -hmm. Then, Winter. then new taxes came on board. <laughs> then I said, "This her idea. Why does it shit get me over what she wants me to do? This, because it's my right. I must understand. Yeah. There is no equity if I have to give other people chance again. Hajat, public schools are also paying charging school fees. Ah, uh, you are away, and some are charging even more than what the private schools are charging." Is that so, Christopher? Most, but you know, they're charging. Like most of them. But they are, mm. yes, I know there's withholding tax. Maybe they've gotten on board. Mm. But these others are not pinching them. Are not the pinching income them. tax is not pinching them. The income tax the is, not pinching, tax is not, not pinching them. It's not pinching them. them. Mm. So we request again mm. that there should be some kind of equity in addition to tax education mm. and on time. This country is not ending tomorrow. Mm. We need to move slowly before we implement that is within our, the laws that uh, are within uh, our structure. Thank you so much, Just Hajat. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I had the question. <laughs> the question. No, uh, uh, you, you know. The we, question to me? To you. Okay. Because in most cases, mm -hmm. uh, Besides you are a coming and leaving mm -hmm. those taxes, mm -hmm. uh, it usually gives you that time of filing where you can readjust. How, how do you uh, have so you can help me? That time where they help you or where you can adjust your financial year. Mm. There is that provision where you can say, oh, ah, for me, my financial year starts from Jan to this. Yeah, and, but some, you of realize, uh -huh. and some of us but, have done that. Some of us have done that. And, and but just, for it, it was moved with the, the national fi uh, financial year. Yeah. National the, the financial June, year. Uh -huh, the June to Ju uh, the first July to 30th, 30th June. Okay. That is how they move. So mm. w some people have adjusted. Others have not adjusted. So if others have not adjusted, then we need to 
kind that of... That is the education now, we, Hajat, we, has we, to we, come <laughs> up from this tall building, go down there in Shanamukaka and tell people. She has really tried. Okay. Uh, and she's... We, we, we want to interest her to continue. She should come down and understand our business, understand the, the, the business of the taxpayer who URA is charging. And we do not only look at, well, let us look outside this building and, and, and we only do not say, we want ours, we want ours, and it is sure. a must. Sure, sure. You are aware that we are also paying that for the services that we are getting. I that you're going to ideally, educate me. Ideally, you are aware that we are paying excise yeah, yeah. yeah. tax. Because um, yes, we are the final consumers. Mm -hmm. sure. and most of uh, these items. Mm -hmm. And VAT sugar, being a consumption sugar. tax. Mm -hmm. yeah. So once you're the final consumer, mm -hmm. the tax burden lies there. Mm -hmm. Then definitely for a school like um, Hajati's side, yes. that comes through the cost of the items. Yeah, ideally, so when we, we, we can't tilt anywhere in the tax law so far, mm. but they'll just have to move with it mm. as it goes through the expenses of uh, whatever they, they utilize. Uh, maybe what I, I, I needed to point from Hayati's side, mm. yes, um, 235 is not a lot of money, but ideally, we came from a threshold, you're aware, that was 130. When? It was 130. I recall. I recall. So through all these um, meetings, engagements here and there, mm -hmm. it increased. It increased. Mm -hmm. So maybe moving forward, as we push, you could equally push through associations. Yeah. Because it doesn't only affect the education sector, mm -hmm. even oh, others. Because once that threshold goes high, we are giving a bigger margin of people to survive on what they earn without yeah. being taxed. Without being taxed. But yes. once the tax law does not change mm. tomorrow, mm. I will read it on the dot the way it and is. come. Yes, it is pinching, but I think it needs to come out now because we've gone through challenges, COVID mm. here and there, mm. the economic High situation is building. not the best, mm. but we, we need to survive. Mm. So I think that could be one of our the, the yeah, issues yeah. we could look at eh? mm -hmm. as uh, yeah. different associations push through parliament. We could also point it out and see whether it could meet um, the minds of those who will actually understand it. Mm -hmm. So that will give a breather on some of these people, mm -hmm. most of the teachers. Mm -hmm. Because a teacher but, but is somebody yeah. who has to be in that school from morning to evening. For me, I'm comfortable mm. and very sure that Hajat here can take that discussion to the next level. Because when he's, she is given this assignment, definitely she has to give feedback about challenges. Yeah, true. Yeah, so th this is an area where just a, a person should understand 250,000 I, I need to know how you are living in company. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, you want to have a certain yield surviving, cost of living. It's little, less than three dollars a day, less than one hundred dollars a month. But they are growing, they have children, they have families, they have... Yes, and so, and so on and so forth. And so forth. Christopher. I know she can advance that. Mr. Christopher has been quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, we are re our viewers are really <laughs> keen to hear what you have to say. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, when I told some friends of mine that I was coming for this program. They say do lagawa. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I liked the name of the program, Tax Education. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that our being here, uh, we did not come to learn only, mm -hmm. but also came to teach. Mm -hmm. And secondly, the mm. relationship, mm. we are leveraging more on stakeholder uh, management. Definitely. Because as uh, we have that stakeholder relationship, mm. that is good. Other things will definitely get solutions mm. moving forward. No, thank you. So, we're going to be So, that, the closer they are, yeah. the better the things better. happen. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And, and uh, Mr. when Mr. Kawest was, Kawest was saying, he just came to, as a lay person. Mm -hmm. I've quoted Hajat is using a lot of technical language, ah. whatever, taxi law, whatever. But for me, I came as a director, somebody who came up and, uh, <laughs> and started the school. And uh, 
the way we reason. Mm. Because sometimes we take us as technical, whatever, you've not done, you've not filed, you've not done this. Hajat has talked about it. You get a call in August, in September, you're already a defaulter. Mm. So, but I have liked the name of the program, Tax Education. And I'm sure what we discuss here, Hajat and the team will have to take much as we may have to organize ourselves as associations, but I know at the end of the year, they also get a report from you exactly. that this is what oppressing our people, these are the difficulties we have found. Yeah. So we shall be very grateful for, from the fruits of this program. And uh, then secondly, I, we want you to know the role edu a private education is playing. I like your slogan, developing the country together yeah. with yeah. us. Yeah. But uh, as if you are chasing us away from that, yeah. developing the country, yeah. yes, <laughs> developing the country together. But we are also doing a very big role as far as development of a country is concerned. Mm -hmm. A developed country must not have a tower like the one we are seated in, but having educated citizens. Okay. And you are sure if you, you close private schools today, we cannot have where to educate our children from. So we are playing a very big role. For me, the term taxing education, as if it sounds very much awkward. Because the government is supposed to invest in education. If you have got some stakeholders, you have got some people who are investing, I'm sure they are supporting the government. Mm -hmm. In fact, for, for me, we are even expecting secondments. Mm -hmm. That you have been paying teachers, you have 70 teachers, let the government help you to pay these 50 so that you, you keep on. As we are developing the government, education is a basic need. I think the first one is, is it feeding? That is the first basic need. And the second one may be shelter. The third one should be education now. So we are giving a basic need. But the way we are treated, the policies, I've started hating the policies. And I'm wondering who makes those policies without involving the stakeholders? Who came up with a policy that schools should withhold? She, 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 she's heading a, a certain organization, association. Oh, I'm also a leader. <laughs> it's not only schools, by the way. You know why you need to withhold? It's helping each other. Mm. My register is still narrow. Mm. I am looking for how to widen it. Mm. So I am tapping on to you because I know you have various suppliers mm. whom you pay, mm. but do they pay taxes? Nempita Mugwe, kindly withhold. Musabetin. Once you say, I won't pay you without a tin, they will come and register. I am widening my tax base. Mm -hmm. Every time mm -hmm. I am looking at those many that if everybody pays a little, mm -hmm. but we the time, will be there. Hajat, we are rushing. Uganda is not going to end it tomorrow. It's a, it's, a, it's a good innovation as far as tax collection is concerned. But Hajat has talked about it. Sure, I received a call in August. Why don't you give us some three years and even you put it on our program that with effect from 2024, every supplier do this and this and this. But the thing is so fixed as if Uganda is ending tomorrow. No, Mr. Mugwanya, it's just unfortunate. <laughs> no, no, I would mm. like to say, Mr. Mugwanya, yeah. it's mm. unfortunate yes. that mm. uh, when we came with withholding, mm. ideally the communication was a little delayed to mm. you, mm. irrespective of when the, the commencement was date was supposed to happen. Mm. That we, we would apologize, but... Uh, I remember it was effective first August, and we hadn't trained you. Mm. No. And I happened to train you virtually yes. in the same August mm. month. Yes. So what we had said... Was it August? Yes, August? it yeah. was effective was August. first August, 4th August. I and I trained you within August, mm. okay. but towards the end. Mm. That's just unfortunate that uh, probably we were not that organized that time. Mm. But definitely we can listen. We are people who can listen and know Kichino Tichifu Day Oburunji. But moving forward, mm. I don't think that's how we've been operating. Okay. But ideally, when certain things come a little late to us, mm -hmm. we are meant to meet certain deadlines by pushing it to the users. I so there, I think you just have to pardon us. <laughs> <laughs> we are people who prepare you mm. so that that can happen. Okay. But however, the extension can't be three years. Honestly, yeah, but, but at least, let it mm. be a reasonable time, but sure. not three years. You are. Yeah. Because Hajar mm. and Jethaman, <laughs> Christopher, mm. Mm. We are Ugandans, yes, and we know that government needs revenue. Mm. Um, 
we are not against taxation. Definitely. We need education, we need understanding our business, we need understanding our general economy. That's all we are calling for. And this relationship mm. that will, you know, a good business relationship. That's what we are saying. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So and uh, we have already started experiencing some challenges. Yes. And I think much as the government is pleading for the lowering of school fees, mm. that this may, may do the opposite. Suppliers, I don't know whether Hajat has experienced it. Yeah, let me first see what you're saying. <laughs> Suppliers have started running away from <coughs> us. The cheap ones. Because? Because you, 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 you're withholding them. Mm. To some people, 6% means a lot. Mm. Somebody can be doing a business and the profit out of a million is 50,000. Mm. And for you, are with, withholding 60. Mm. Uh, moreover, for a full year. So mm -hmm. it, they always say that if it is withholding, Muna, wait and bleed them. If it is withholding, Muna, wait and bleed. That means that we we'll have to go to big companies. Yes. Yes. So you give us some time. We also educate our suppliers. Maybe it would be in steps. Number one, you buy from a supplier who has a tin. Because giving out the tin, it's a bit easy. But the six percent means a lot to a supplier. Yeah. As I've told you that with Uganda's uh, economy today, people mm -hmm. doing the deals of. 50,000 from each million. But for you, are withholding six. six. Mm -hmm. Forgetting all other expenses somebody has made. For me, I would suggest that. Maybe step number one. You tell us you only buy from people who have tins. And you tell us that you, you, you specify their tins. Then when you get them, you also educate them that maybe with effect from 2024, we have authorized schools to do this and this and this. Then another bad thing, this withholding tax is discriminative. In fact, you are dividing us. You chose a few schools. Somebody goes to school A, you tell him, I'm withholding. Goes to school C, just does the transaction as things have been. Don't you think that I've become a cheat? If it De has come, let it, let it be. Definitely, Mr. Mugwanya, mm. because, yes, what you pointed out, mm. we also got that sentiment from the other sectors. Mm. Because uh, normally in, in our designating, we have been designating sectors. Mm. But this time we changed a little bit to look at your expenses. Mm. That's where we put the interest. But uh, in engaging them, that's when we got it out, uh, mm. that others may not actually trade mm. and others will trade. Maybe moving forward, mm. we'll need to revisit the way we designate. Once I designate, Every school, Taina Jaraga, definitely. Obunga and Abuan. We ate all of them. I mean, they come back to you. Mm. But maybe now. You are already there. You are complaining that we are defaulters. Mm. When will that one come? Yeah. Definitely. I mean, Hajat, we need to swallow the sour pill. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I'm not seeing an amendment within this year. But hopefully, if it comes effective beginning of next year, it will do us good. But maybe what we need to revisit, maybe as you are a is probably to see how we designate a mm. sector. Mm -hmm. Say so that it is a fair treatment to mm. all. I mean, it's that. It's, it, it's, everything is yeah. uniform. So that means I would ejaculate out some bit of harmony mm. as we look at the nitty gritties. But ideally, withholding cuts across. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, our viewers, please feel free to send in the questions. Uh, it looks like um, questions are very little coming in. But please keep them coming in because we want to answer all of them and want to make sure that you're so satisfied with this engagement that you'll be the happiest person alive. Now, uh, Christopher. Yes, please. How are you treating the business loans in, in conjunction with the taxation? Because, before I go to Hafsa, because she has really shown us mm. that there is really leeway mm. of expressing our expenses. Mm. So how is it on your side in regards? On our side, maybe what I was forgetting to, 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 to air out, Hajat brought it a bit, the COVID time. Schools, as Hajat said, were most affected. They're talking of tourism, but I think there was a time when uh, the, 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 the industry was, yeah, was opened, but the schools remained closed. In fact, one person advised us to go and sell, uh, and, and sell our yes. schools, yes. And... Uh, also, I, don't, I, I know it may not be within your control, but you can take our ideas. There are taxes like you pay as you earn. When you are earning, you pay. 
But when you're not earning, why, why are we not helped? Some of the policymakers, they copy systems uh, right away from the whites. But you should, you should also learn something from the whites, that they are paying lots of taxes. By the way, it is very good to pay taxes. It is. But in yeah. the case you are not in a position, in the case you are in problems, how are you helped? as a good taxpayers. Auntie, that's where the fighting comes in. When mm. you're fighting, you're fine, you're fine, here, uh, here I didn't earn. Uh -huh. So as you de declare but what, it, uh, how your business It, it, it just remains as a credit note. Does your are a refund? <laughs> it just uh -huh. remains no, as a... Fighting <laughs> returns. Fighting mm. yeah, mm. returns. Mm. Mm. I remember in the first COVID, mm. we, made, uh, we made some modifications. Mm. Mm. Whereby we told you, because what we were, what we were getting, people mm. were laying off. Mm. They are, they, are, they are workers, yeah. they are staff. Yeah. Yeah. So we said, with pay as you earn, one, you can file that return, mm. but keep the money in the system mm. so that you're liquid enough. I remember we gave you up to 31st December, mm. the first COVID year, mm. to see that at least by that time you will mm. have gotten some breather to pay it. We gave you some... Yeah. Some soft I don't want to reason as system. a director of a school. Mm, yeah. I want to reason as a work in a school. Yes. Mm. I've been paying as I've been earning for yes. some 15 years. Yes. COVID has come two years. There's not any single help I'm getting from the government. Yes. I know it's not your work to, to spend, but mm. your report yes. uh, matters a lot. Yes. That's why I say that some policies are coped from some other countries. But they, they, there's also some consideration they give. In the case of Ebiguatevirazi, mm. they have spent two years not earning. Mm. I think I expected a, a relief of at least one year. These people have not, because the teachers in the government schools were earning throughout. Ours were not earning two years. Then the, the, the business has come back, you continue to pay. He's asking, this, what I'm paying when I'm earning, how about when I'm not earning, when I'm in a problem, how does my government? Not uh, when, you're in, you, you, when you're not earning, there is no pay. Uh, which or maybe survival. You, you, maybe mm. you're talking yeah. about survival. Yes, how, uh, how does the government help me to mm. survive? survive. He's talking, He's talking yeah. about survival. So we get a, a, a similar thing like the parish model for uh. those who did not earn. <laughs> that particular, no, I'm looking at something like but, that. But we God because God <laughs> that we, we really went through. Yeah. And now as we are getting to, we are getting to stand up again, mm. that's where our worry came in. Mm. Hardly did we get any assistance or support, mm. but now as we try to recover, that's where I have a complaint mm. with Hajat and her withholding mm. tax. She should have given us some bit of relief. relief, some kind of grace period, before you really say, oh, if, if, if you, that one-time education, I appreciate, but it wasn't enough. It and wasn't I, I was, definitely enough. I can't be enough. sure that it reached everyone, but it, it wasn't, wasn't enough. And mm. I'm glad she's appreciating mm. that she was, they, 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 they did not do enough tax mm. education. Now, coming back to the to, loans. To the loans, yeah. Suffer. That's what, what, what I wanted to. Uh, you wanted to answer that? Yes. Maybe. Yes. I, 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 loans, that as question. far as loans are concerned, our modulator, schools are in problems. Very much problems. And uh, previously, we have even, you know, a private school, Sustaining people's children, you receive school fees once in mm. three months. So and not one hundred percent. Not one hundred. I, I was going to say, and we are lucky; they are, they've all paid a hundred percent. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> so Ajah, some, that's not possible. <laughs> Someone is earning three hundred thousand yes. and will pay school fees for her child. Uh -huh. mm. And uh, sometimes uh, keeping those children, you you have already uh, sacrificed committed yourself. yourself. Yeah, committed yourself. And let mm. them I'm going in. to keep. There is no way you call parents. Mm. Sometimes you may even need to get loans, which you are it doesn't, uh, may not accept. To a money lender, you rush to a money lender, and you have to pay some interest there. But uh, as long as this money lender is not registered, registered potea, that expense is not allowed. I, mm. I think I'm... I'm, I'm exactly. Through. That is mm. where I was going to say, why do we go to money lenders? Let's, let us go mm -hmm. to legit mm -hmm. entities, mm -hmm. eh? so that when uh, you give me a bank statement, it's mm. clearly and there. Indicates. I told you I'm reasoning as a layman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are reasoning, reasoning as an accountant. From today, we are changing <laughs> the way we do business <laughs> so that we actually <laughs> represent what has happened. And that's what I said when we were beginning. Let schools not be taken as business of going to Chikubo or Gulesukale, Gulesabuni, or Mutunde. We are taking all people's lives, moreover, children. We are giving a service, taking care of you like a, a, a whatever, a health center. 
because the, the, the whatever the legitimate whatever kind of process you are telling me you ask simanya cash flows so whatever, whatever, so whatever 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 so peter a good demo waka wonga campaign deco i need money today i cannot go through all such process you got the money lender he, he charges you very high interest he may even be 10 percent or 20 percent per month so such expenses are not considered and you strictly reject them so with the school we request that uh, you take us known as an automatic yes, business automatic not whatever business. you have to come down and get to know the, the problems you are going through because mm -hmm. at the end of the day we are giving education which is the basic need we are taking care of people's children which is the role of the government now going back to what christopher had mentioned mm -hmm. before there is a teacher here called mokwezi danson uh, he has he has he has noted that in regards to mr christopher's submission he was requesting i think hapsa you're going to help us here was there a possibility of eh, neglecting as in not taking away the pay as you earn for a period of like one year so that's someone gets recovery a full salary mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. they have missed that, what that happens is um hapsa. we did it uh, in the first covid i think it was 2020 2021, about April, uh, we made a pronouncement that um, with payers you earn, please file and uh, represent whatever is happening. But for the payment, you can keep it, then you will keep liquid in your entity. However, it wasn't a waiver. It was just carrying it a little forward. We expected the money by 31st December that year. So that implies that the school had to equally kunyumunguza this money and present it by 31st oh, December. Yeah. It wasn't uh, even his, qu his question was, mm. like, let's say he's earning 300,000. Yes. That is after tax. Mm. Um, before tax, he needs to earn something like 700. All he wanted is to earn his whole... 700. But that had to come through an amendment. Uh -huh. eh? And mm -hmm. I, no, I didn't see it is. then. I, I didn't see it then. What I saw is what I am telling you. Mm -hmm. And that is what we followed. At least to give them a breather. So, Hajat, mm. in, in, in no, other words, that one is just answer, an individual. <laughs> because but here I will penalize the school, eh? whereas the payers you earn comes from. This employee, so, uh, Hajat, that is the most tricky thing. Hajat, yeah. This is what I'm picking from this gentleman's communication. That uh, it's, it's, it's a feeling, it's a request that how we wish they could, mm. they could do kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, the amnesty, like mm -hmm. you said. That is what I is understand that, that I think. Exactly, mm. but it's not only one because there are many like that. Yes, of course. I think it needed to come through mm. an amendment probably at that time. Yeah, it yeah, missed the right eye yeah. and probably it was overtaken by events. Mm. Definitely, it, 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 it was in good faith because uh, we saw people struggling then. Mm. Exactly. They were even missing meals and uh, we, we needed to come through and help our neighbors <laughs> so that we are secure enough. Mm. Because once they don't have food, they will pick it from you forcefully definitely. in whatever way. Mm. That happened. But I think at that particular time, probably nobody picked it up. Maybe, I think even the Minister of Education needs to come in. Yeah. And strong. to some extent. Because, uh, I mean, they... They should be aware of they their regulate that Exactly. They regulate these activities. Mm. As I'm coming in to pick taxes where they are, mm. but they do the regulation mm. from... Uh, end to end. Mm. I, I don't know how it missed. So I think moving yeah, forward, I, there are certain things that we shouldn't miss because now Ebola is coming. Mm. Never know what it will leave. Yeah. Exactly. And we are still praying hard that it stops it wherever stops it, where is. it is. But that is not the, that is not the situation. Mm. So ideally, I think moving forward, it will help us and it will help the legislators look a little bit forward and see what will be coming and probably legislate in the best way. 
Because once this legisl legislator doesn't do their work, mm. I mean, I also get tied up mm. because the year has started. I'm I'm not seeing any amendment coming through. Mm. Yes, I, I'm picking the money, but painfully mm. from Hajati and uh, the rest, mm. painfully, I, I need to pick it. Mm. And maybe what I want to tell, me, tell Mr. Mugwanya, mm. find the education sector has challenges. Mm. But uh, I think with my tax law, we have tried to do some a little bit of work because we are looking at education services that are exempted from VAT. We are looking at the education equipment and material that is zero rated. I mean, we have tried to remove it from the VAT family to see that at least these items or these services can be a little affordable. Mm -hmm. I think that we are going to call it day We are trying, mm -hmm. but maybe we haven't reached where you need, where you need eh, for you to actually say katukbe mungare nini. You face out this day. Yeah, so as as as, <laughs> as, <laughs> yeah. as, as she, she releases the. <laughs> Food from yeah. the brakes yeah. again. She presses uh -huh. more. The accelerator. So. <laughs> no, maybe the challenge, mm. the challenge with withholding mm. that um, the schools probably could be having, is we needed to sensitize mm. the suppliers Absolutely. first. And, even the and as we sensitize the suppliers, mm. probably we needed to designate the of whole sector mm. the to tie the side ne side yeah. to mm. make their lives easy. Yeah, definitely. So ina jo not wala kawonga iro ino kampa. Mm. Because in my home, I'll buy two kgs a week. It is a good one. But Hajati needs the tons and tons oh, yeah. to feed our children. Yeah. Mm. Maybe that's where we didn't look ahead. And that's what we're trying to do, to see that we get the suppliers together mm. and see how we can engage them. And uh, maybe in... Uh, and the clarity on the items to be taxed exactly. as well, Exactly. Uh, which is which? Is mm. it the flour? Is it the corn? Is it the beans? Mm. Is it the grain? Mm. The firewood? Mm -hmm. And so on. There is need for more Because what happens uh, for schools, more so for agricultural supplies, because uh, with agricultural supplies, initially, we were withholding, we were meant to withhold 1% mm. uh, on the transaction amount, but that was repealed. Mm. But when it was repealed, still we didn't include it in the six percent so whatever falls under agricultural supply you do not withhold but an agricultural supply that is unprocessed maybe that we need to put clear you need to. as you get the beans as they are the ginats and mm. i mean the but popcorn. once you start uh, the grinding yes. of mm. the ginats i was even in the right format Mm. So they are withholding will you catch you. Them from your own school. Exactly from your own oh, school. Yeah. But when, once you yeah. go to Chisenya and get the pounded ones, mm -hmm. then withholding case. will come in because there is a process it has undergone. Mm. It's like corn. Kasoli botam gulanga wali, and you wait for Chisenya to mill for you. Mm. Then, mm. then, uh, oh, then the six percent. Mm. I want so, your comment on the threshold also. The threshold of um. Mm. Yes, Mkaga keka profit. It is impacting on us. Mm. They are saying, uh uh, we are revisiting the price. Yes, you, they are revisiting they are the revisiting price. The prices. So that their it's, profits are it's not painful. Yes. That's yes, it's painful happening. because. Then you are also aware, Hajat, mm. put my questions together. You are also aware that uh, at times the system is a problem. Yes. You want to submit? Yeah. Network. Network. Mm. Hajat, you know, Hajat, let's be a little fair. Sure when I tell you I need my return by the 15th, Hajat, I haven't told you to go on my system on the 15th. <laughs> let's be fair. Mm. Sincerely, the math has ended. Mm. On 30th, mm. why don't you give me that return on the 2nd? Honestly, why do you wait for when I have jam mm. but, on the but, system? But you are aware that you, you have jam. Exactly. Oh. So that is Most why I designed oh. this so system it, that mm. wake up at night. You can even wake up at midnight mm. when everybody's sleeping. Use that time. It's just shifting your working hours mm. to be flexible. That, that is what the, we are doing. Exactly. Don't mm. wait for 15th mm. and mm. also do, do, do it during that day okay. because you'll know everybody will be at it. Mm. Then there is also another point, another problem, Hajat. As we, we withhold 6%, the mm. suppliers tell us that uh, you, you'll be demanding them 24%. Because as their balance, you are expecting, maybe, I'm not saying you, you are demanding. It is as if the whole million is a profit, whereby the 30% has to come to URA, mm. and then 
The other one has gained 70. But that whole million involves everything. I don't know how you, you come about that. So no, what, what happened? Hajat was saying, yes. that once you tell them, them that you are going to withhold, to withhold, they revise the prices, not by earning the 6%, mm. but something which has been on a million, they it have to sell it. It yeah. Not even 1.2. Like some, mm. some of them revise by 50%. Mm. Something which would buy at a million, you have to pay 1.5. That means that even education, the school fees, Mm. The hiking of school fees. You need to recover it yeah. from the school Not fees. Not recovery. <laughs> Not recovering. Because if I made the budget that I spent such amount of money on food and so the supplies are you have to increase it by the yeah, increment. It will affect the, the budget. Mm. Exactly. That means that the only way of, of, of balancing it is by increasing school fees, which will make some children still mm. drop out of school. Exactly. And you don't, but yeah, I think that needs to want. be heard by the ministry officials. Mm. Yeah. Because they are the ones who put a ceiling on uh, the fees. Ideally, for me, I may not comment on mm. that. Mm. I'm basically looking at where my area is. Yes. But definitely, they come and cap the fees. But and you need to justify mm. why you feel the increment has to be there. Maybe they need to understand their client. They haven't understood, uh, they haven't understood you and probably how you do business. Uh, but even if the ceiling is not there, mm. whenever you increase school fees, we get more school dropouts. Yeah, Which is yeah, very yeah. negative to our country. Mm. Exactly. The, our slogan is building the country together. We'll never yes. build a country with illiterate people. Exactly. So let us consider this service as a special service. Yes. Any tax uh, imposed on yeah. education, mm. it causes more school dropouts. Mm. It is over there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But not but, only on education. Uh, I'm glad we are. But uh, ideally, <laughs> Mr. Mogwanya, you yeah. need to appreciate when we are, yes, you're giving us a service, mm. but you are in business. Right? Budget. Yes. We are in business. Yes. We are not so that is uh, where mm. we equally say yes. Watch it to say a katono kano as we harmonize the we call the tax. Budget. I'm quoting you the president. We are harmonizing. We are not refuting, <laughs> yes. and we are appreciating. Exactly. We even appreciated the program. And that is why but we the direct to taxes. Level. There's so many indirect taxes. Mm. Yes. After collecting school fees, what do we do? We go to buy mitayim. We go to buy cement. How much taxes do we pay? That's why the other graduate tax was removed. But you're going to expense. Do, Those are time. business expenses. Even the interest on that loan you're getting is an allowable expense. Mm. Yes. Now, the most important thing, where are you getting these funds? Get funds from legit people. Honestly, put yourself in my shoes. Mm. I come and you say, I got a loan of 500 million. Mm. From who? From a money lender. Really? How sure Hajat, what I realized, you know, and money you've given this so money lender your collateral. How sure are you that it's even safe when I come back on your side? So maybe the way we do business has to change a little bit eh? mm. F to make my life easy mm. and even to make my life easy to understand you that yes, you got the loan from this commercial bank. Yes, the statement is mm. here. I will allow this uh, expense because I have done a site visit. We are in construction of another block. Which is clear. Because ideally, yes, getting the money knows it and you may get it as an institution. Mm. I know Gina knows in my guest house. It's mm -hmm. no it's no way related to the school. No, I want to, to come. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I want to come and see <laughs> <laughs> that the loan <laughs> is so, being utilized in yeah. the school. That is when I will allow you this interest mm. on the loan in your income tax return. As long as it's from a legit. Exactly. Haja, there is a statement I've liked. Mm. We need to to revise the way we do business. Yes. I'm also saying that we need to revise the way we collect the taxes. schools, ah. yes. not as other businesses. We yes. understand the unique, yes, we are unique. Way. The yes. unique way. Yes. We are supplementing to the services of the government. Exactly. Yes. I realize <laughs> exactly. that uh, what people know all about schools is that, oh, this school has 600, 700, 1,000 children. School fees is 800 per child. Mm. That Multiply. means getting mm. simple no, haja, no, haja, haja. Simba wakati. Mm. No, <laughs> what you're supposed to do in your return, you tell me, yes, I have 600. But the paying students, uh, the ones giving me full School bank fees. slip, they are 300. The 50 abasaris, Bampa Chitundo, these are the 200 and something. Mbavanja this year. Bagani. That is the picture I want in the return. But once it doesn't come out well in the return, you will make me assume everybody's paying 100%. Let me just borrow a lift from rental income. 
Just yeah. no. Let me yeah. just borrow a leaf from rental income. Mm. You have five houses. Mm. What I need in the return? Tell me, house number one this year gave me rent for twelve months, mm. equivalent to this. House number two has given me for two months. House number three, eight months. House number four, empty. House number five, or you to take police. Mm -hmm. This is a justification. To ask Okakwero, sit with the police, Tasa Sura, I want to vacate this person, and these are the papers. This is how I want to understand you to know how much income I should expect. So, same applies to so the that school. I only expect mm -hmm. from Don't the give me knowledge. a chance to mm -hmm. think for you. Mm -hmm. That is why I operate a self assessment regime. Mm -hmm. Self assess yourself. Go and believe what has come in. Because when I come down, I'll need a justification. Mm. Definitely, you have bank statements mm. that come from the bank. Mm. Definitely, everybody knows. Definitely, everybody knows. Normally, in third term, because it's a promotional term, I will not be able to sell you 80%. Exactly. Because if you don't have any value, you know, yes, fine, turn down the fees. Now, I talk about the salaries, the musuza, the masanyere zegaba nega sasura kuayota. You get. Mm. So those things have to come out well in your return. Mm. And once they come out well and they have justifications, I don't think there is any officer who, can, who will fail to understand. Mm. So I think that when we do business, mm. to, to today's demo, I think we, we, we will understand each other. Because there are businesses where I, people don't pay 100%. No, you know, burn it is. Mm. I mean, these are your clients. Shop, by the way. These are your clients. Mm. Well, no, we're burned. Mm. No signing a catabo. Mm. Buy your kid of bid. Now, to cause Zibanja, no, you son a cubo. Kubanga, a Jivanji, that it was Zidina. So those things happen in business. Mm. We understand them. Mm. Because at times, we took a knock writing off bank, the, the, the outstanding debt. Yeah. Yes. No governor can be writing it off. Because, mm. I mean, you have failed. Yeah. Well, for a report, I choose a summary. Could you have another candidate classes? Mobacua says, I think you never be at Ganyo. The Roya Bagan. Then you need her to understand your okay. Better. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are sorry we have stolen your show. So. <laughs> no, 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 no. As in, as in also the taxpayers yes, and the please. viewers need to, need to really feel. And have the, as I had promised at the start, mm -hmm. that we needed to have that experience mm. of what it is really like. Hafsa has really enlightened us on very many things. And I'm so happy that Hajati uh, Indifuna and Christopher, you have really also brought your concerns to the yeah, table. Yeah. And, I, and I believe they have really been okay. responded to. Uh, despite things that we, Hafsa or URA is not really, really so much into so making the decisions mm. because we believe our, our primary mandate mm. is coming to you to collect. Mm. Now the rest of the things mm. we have to leave for to, uh, yeah. other people mm. to follow up yes. with. As Hafsa has mentioned that uh, so, so, sometimes it is the associations, let's say the ministries, mm. that need to take responsibility to make sure that these things are sorted out. And I want to thank our viewers for being with us. It has been really a very nice time. And um, maybe be before us. you close, Josama, maybe mm. I would like to inform uh, my colleagues here and the viewers as we are assessing collecting and accounting for government revenue, we have a role of advisory. We advise government on the different policy amendments mm -hmm. that come through. Are they biting the sectors? What are their sentiments? We have that role mm -hmm. of advising government and see probably what may it come out. So ideally, what we, we, we can't exactly complete at our level, it goes through the, 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 that, that channel, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Hafsa. Thank you so much, Hajati Mifuna. It has, it has been a wonderful time having you, Christopher and Hajati. And uh, our viewers, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Have a very beautiful day. Thank you. In chairs, the small one can become the big one. It's the same here. And here too. Watch every move. 
Record every number so you can plan better. No matter the size of your dream, tomorrow's success belongs to those who keep today's records clean. File your returns today. Uganda Revenue Authority.